Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So you want to print carbon fiber PETG and this is your first time. This is the video for you. So this carbon fiber PETG is a great material with strong properties and fantastic cool industrial look. So this axe that I printed or hatchet its mainly purpose is to cut paper for fire starting and uh, chopping down or splitting kindling. This is not made for heavy work. This is a cool tool that I leave in my desk uh, that I use for cutting letters and, and making little uh, fire bundles of paper with a little bit of kindling. Just light work. All the links are going to be in the description of the filament that I use nozzles that I use. You have to use a 0.8, milli, uh, 0.8 nozzle hardened steel. I put the link on the description. So this is the carbon fiber PETG that uh, or pet G like everybody says um, that you can try out this one is from Amazon it's $36 um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can click on it and then you can find I don't think the brand is important uh, you can find it much easier you click on the link and see uh, the prices but I think this is the cheapest 35 need to have a hardened steel nozzle um, you cannot print this stuff with a brass nozzle it will um, chew up your nozzle and it, and it will create a, a, a problem for you when you're trying to print um, and also it also the one that I have says that you need to use a 0.6 nozzle and up see right here 0.6 nozzle and up you need to really really change the nozzle size for this type of thing because I tried it at a 0.5 nozzle and it was it kept clogging so you need to make sure that you do the right nozzle size to the carbon PETG that you bought okay so we're in Cura right now and let's take a look at the slicing settings that I'll do for a, a carbon fiber PETG so for this one, I'm doing the hatchet from the video. Uh, this is the, the file. Um, I did leave a slot where I heat press a 220 stainless steel uh, blade into. Um, what else? Okay, and I'm also using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. For the carbon fiber PETG that I bought, the brand that I use, it's a bit um, abrasive and a 0.6 nozzle was not thick enough. It, it wasn't the, the hole for the 0.6 nozzle was not thick enough to let out the filament properly. So I kept doing this grinding noise uh, on the extruder. So you guys got to make sure that even though the package said to use a 0.6, you might have to do a size up depending on your machine. Right now I'm using an Ender 3. Um, so yeah, so you go to materials on Cura. Uh, right now I'm using a 0.6. In the materials you'll find it here, generic PETG. So what I like to do, especially for this print, I am going to do 100% fill, no support. All right, let's go to settings. It's already set up for you here, if you can see. Uh, normally, here the speed is point, uh, 50.0 milliseconds. Um, if it's a complicated print, this is a very simple print. If it was a complicated print, I will go a little slower than this. I will go to 30 milliseconds. 
normally I would leave it at uh, right here 50 which is um, standard and pretty much just keep to the settings the way they are um, people are very intimidated of, of printing PETG or PETG carbon fiber just treat it as just regular PETG just always keep note of the nozzle size you might have to go up a little bit on the nozzle size I'm gonna leave a link of the nozzle size that I, uh, the nozzle set that I get it has about all the sizes that I need all the way from point I think it's point two all the way to one point so it has all the nozzles that you need and I've been using that set of nozzles for the last year and I haven't thrown away not even one of them because these guys are hardened steel nozzles and they're built to do this kind of work so I'm gonna go slice and it's three hours and let's take a look at the set and yeah it looks it looks pretty cool um, do not be intimidated of printing uh, carbon fiber PETG or PETG in general I think the way Cura uh, make sure you download Cura do not use Creality software use Cura they they have like um, gotten the everything down to the to to the to the millimeters like all the settings are like down packed so you really don't have to do much messing around with the stuff here the only thing i would suggest is to slow down the speed a little bit depending on how difficult your print is and if you don't want any bridging i will make this to be uh zero i will shut off the fan if you don't want any like small bridging or or like those little fuzzy hairs it doesn't change anything on the print time it's still the same um, and yeah this is how I print my axe and how I handle the PETG carbon fiber